What is up guys? Today we're going to talk about one of the cooler new cards from the Silver Tempest expansion, Reggie Drago V-Star. This is a card that I have very high hopes for and I don't know if my expectations will be met. I think at best this deck probably falls into tier 1.5, but we're still going to give it a shot because I really like cards like this because it reminds me of a much simpler time, Welder Mewtwo. Now if you kids don't know what Welder Mewtwo is, you guys, you guys missed a good time. But anyway, enough reminiscing. Reggie Drago V-Star says that for two grass and a fire energy, you can use the attack Apex Dragon to choose an attack from a Dragon-type Pokemon in your discard pile and use it as this Pokemon's attack. And the V-Star Power Legacy Star lets you pitch the top seven cards and put any two cards from your discard pile into your hand. Now, seemingly it's not the most powerful because, well, Dragon-types are a little bit wonky, but we're going to go look at some cool Dragon-types that exist in the format and why they are good. We've got a 3 3 Reggie Drago line, one Crobat, and all Dominion, because we do need support to draw. We have two copies of Mew with Mysterious Tail to look at the top six, and we can pivot the Mew into what we need, helping us find some resources, etc., etc. We're playing VIP Pass to actually set up on turn one um, with a copy of Radiant Greninja as well to actually draw cards. Now here is where, oh, I guess we have one more support. Another support card is this Leafeon V with the Greening Cells ability to attach a Grass Energy from our deck. If we go first or even second, we're not really expecting to attack um, on this turn one because Reggie Drago V's attack is not necessarily good. I mean, I mean, we can Celestial Roar, but I'd rather not. So we just want to accelerate energy onto our board to ensure that we can guarantee a turn to attack um, in most situations. Our attackers here are going to be this Appleton, big Apple brother. He's got the thick mucus attack. I'm a huge fan of it. It does 70x the number of special energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon, which can really punish a Lugia early enough if our opponent is not expecting this level of damage because the only other way to one-shot a Lugia is our Giratina V-Star attack with Lost Impact. Um, but Lost Impact is not an attack I typically want to use right away because putting two energy into the Lost Zone is a little bit detrimental because we have to find those two energy again the next turn. And if we're committing everything to one Drago, it could just end up being sloppy if we don't have a second one powered up. We have the Dragonite with Energy Hurricane, uh, where we will do 180 damage and accelerate three basic energy from our deck. Um, this really helps if we just need to get our first attack off and we're going first or something and we're just like poking into something or like taking out a, like a comfy or something small. Um, really helps us just power up the board immediately and all of a sudden we're cooking. Uh, we have a Duraludon with 220 to Shred and 220 is just a good number and Shred is a good effect. And then we have also the Rolling Iron Gucci V-Star. If we get ahead or we need to protect that one Reggie Drago for long enough, we can Rolling Iron until we're ready to power up and play the game. We have a two copy of City, two copy of Court Split, just to make sure we have stadiums to counter Path, because Path is really annoying. Um, and Lost City does help us just like punish our opponents in some weird ways. Uh, we have two copies of Incense, four Quick Ball, and three Ultra Ball, just to find our pieces, draw through our deck quickly. Two copies of Switch and one copy of Air Balloon. Uh, we have two copies of Gardenia's Vigor, which will allow us to draw two and then attach up to two Grass Energy to one of our benched Pokemon. Uh, bench is a little bit of an annoying caveat that's why we're playing the Mew engine so we can actually have a pivot so when we Gardenia's Vigor it's much easier for us to move around and get where we need to be but this card does fuel our engine in case we miss energy drops and it acts as welder it's a green welder not really as good as welder it used to be but you know we'll take it we'll take it two copies of research one copy of Raihan again it's the name of the game it's keeping energy on the board and fueling attackers three copies of Serena to either boss up some things or put cards into the discard and then one copy of Thornton because we're only playing a 3-3 Reggie Drago line so I want to be able to continuously chain our Reggie Dragos or make like a Leafeon or a Crobat or a, or a Luminion into a Reggie Drago when the situation becomes dire because sometimes we really don't want these guys on the board now with that being said let's jump into some Reggie Drago V-Star gameplay on PTCG Live if you guys are enjoying this content I know it's a spill uh, but remember to like and subscribe it does help out the channel a ton and i will continue doing gameplay videos because i've gotten very positive reviews on those um for the most part but i don't worry i will still be doing my like reaction videos star like slash analysis videos to f tournament finals to uh, like japanese tournaments uh japanese videos new decks coming out um especially because like i don't want to rehash the same deck profile over and over again in the same format um and so like i don't want you guys to see in three weeks me doing another mu v max deck profile uh, I'd rather just co like cover the, some of the more important um, like tournament results that have been happening in the Pokemon sphere and get you guys up to speed. This would have been an insane hand with anything. Um, man, unlucky. So we're going to go ahead and re redraw our hand. Uh, only one mulligan, that's fine. There is a Drago to start. Um, so it's not a Mew, it's fine. But it's not one of our worst starters like Crobat or Luminion. That is the risk we do endure by playing these cards. <laughs> Uh, we have a VIP pass as well to kind of just start the ball, get the ball rolling. Sorry. Uh, we can go get a Greninja and another Drago to draw some cards. I think that's the immediate um, 
thing that I would go ahead and do. I would go ahead and grab the Drago as well as the Greninja to draw two. And we have the Quark to recycle the energy. And I guess we have to slot your roar. We're up against Lugia. So this is one of our more negative matchups just because the Lugia can one-shot our Dragos turn after turn. And we don't really have a great answer into what the deck can do. Uh, we do have the Appleton, which is very cool to have. Uh, they immediately get the one arc gaps into the discard. Very good for them. Uh, these powerful energies become kind of a problem. Wait, let me, let me go over. Excuse me, please. Yeah, these become a little bit of a problem. Another Lugia is hitting the board from our opponent. We can, however, always 280 them if they don't have a V-Guard energy up and running. Um, and we can always Gujra V-Star. Okay, another energy, not exactly what we're looking for. So we're going to go through our deck. We see that these two are in here. Let's go check our other attackers. We do have the Appleton, which is good for this matchup. We have the Dragonite, which is good as well. We have the Giratina V-Star. But we do not have the Gujras in our hand, actually. I'm trolling, I'm trolling, I'm trolling, I'm trolling. Uh, we have two copies of Serena. Um, did we see Luminion and Crobat? No Crobat, but Luminion is in the deck. Um, Thornton is in here. Okay, so we get these two guys. We're going to have to go ahead and draw to start our turn because I think our hand is pretty mediocre. Okay. We do get the access to Luminion, which is pretty good. I think we do this. We put the court out because it doesn't actually matter for our opponents um, here. So let's go ahead and Ultra Ball for the Loom because we do need to set up... Um, do something with this. I would like to keep this Raihan if possible. I don't know if that's actually going to be possible. Like maybe research is the correct supporter this turn. Um, which does suck, but we have to get rid of our Raihan. Um, but we need to, we need to set up. We need to actually like get the ball rolling somehow. We can leave you on to end our turn as well. So let's go ahead and train in Quartz. Like I don't need to slosty Roar here necessarily. I can leave you on. And I can go ahead and... I mean, the question is, do we commit to the active knowing that there's only one arc gaps in the discard? Or do we commit to the bench? I think it's going to be a go ahead and commit to the bench. Oh. No, I'm not scared. I'm committing to the active. We're going all in. We don't have a Crobat. We don't have like a good Ultra Ball target after this. It's so, like we're going to throw up the Drago next turn. We're, we don't have a way to like Crobat or draw some more cards. Like... We don't have a get out of jail free card for next turn because of Crobat. Like if we had Crobat, we could at least dig a little bit deeper and try to find pieces. Um, we do see the DTE hitting the board immediately. Research, another DTE. No second arc gaps yet, but Lugia does play four copies of Ultra, four copies of Quick, four copies of Incense. Like this is probably the most consistent deck with four ofs across the board while also playing the most weird one-ofs in there. So it is highly unlikely they miss. Maybe they drew into all their Aurora energies. Maybe that happened. Maybe they drew into all four Auroras. Um, and we survive. The choice block comes down in the back. Okay. Come on. Show me the money. And this would be perfect, too, because we can go get the Dragonite, put the Dragonite into the discard if we don't get knocked out and accelerate onto the board. Um, accelerate to help uh, our energy situation as well. Incense? No. Lugia? Okay, that's not an Archaeops. So our opponent's just bolstering both the Lugias. I think they're debating going for the V-Star for one. But I think it should be very evident that I'm not playing Path to the Peak in my deck. Vacuum. That's fine. Hiding energy. So that is one of the important cards that Yuvatal does use. Um, and now it is no longer with us. It has departed the building. Yes! Let's go. Okay. Um, oh! I'm so good! We're going to see uh, two Dragos hit the board. I'm going to get the attachment here. And I think the starting position move to make is... Let's draw two. Let's go ahead and conceal cards for two cards. Okay. Let's quick ball away an ultra. Grabbing myself the Mew. To put a pivot down. To have a pivot. For Gardenias, stuff like that. And then here's where it gets spicy. We're going to go ahead and Legacy start aggressively. So I want to put back Drago probably in my hand.
probably Thornton. Drago and Thornton can come back to my hand. I don't know if I want to Thornton this turn. Did I mess up somewhere? I feel like I messed up something. Something like this shouldn't have happened this way, I feel like. I feel like something went very wrong. Okay. Well. This has to happen. So I'm just getting rid of the Thornton anyway. I, I might have goofed it a little bit. I probably should have legacy start before I quick bolt or done anything with the pivot, actually. Um, in hindsight. Hindsight's 20 here. We're gonna get the Dragonite. We're gonna serene the Dragonite into the discard. Yeah. Which is exactly what I wanted to do. We drew into the energy, which is not hot. Um, I'm just going to assume they don't play ways to. We can roll the iron, though, and just make sure we don't get knocked out next turn. There's also your choice belt on the board. There's no way they can do 80. We're just going to roll the iron. We're going to play it safe because I think Rolling Iron gives us the best chance to not die here. Ugh. The fire. So we can get the attachment here. But if a boss is, comes down, they're going to... Like, the idea is if I go ahead and use the energy acceleration attack and put the energies on the board, they can boss and kill one that we put the energies on or just take out the active. It doesn't change anything. One energy... One summoning star. Okay. Their hand might not be amazing. V-Guard. Not necessarily good or bad for us, I think. Like, we can always energy accelerate next turn is my logic. But we are... are already showing seven of our nine grass tempest dive 230 i think our opponent also thought it was a one shot maybe we have no discard cards in our hand which is a little bit unnerving oh that's that's pretty good let's go ahead and switch that's that's pretty good mysterious tail okay what are all our options i mean there's no reason not to put this in my hand we're really looking for a Gardenia's Vigor coming up here somewhere. I mean, I guess I can just accelerate now is also fine. So let's go ahead and use... Uh, if I could, dude, if I could put the Tina in the discard, this would have been a great turn to just Tina and, like, sweep the game or the Appleton. But both cannot happen because of the V-Guard energy also. So I'm just being silly. So we're going to go ahead and energy Hurricane. Um, accelerating the two from our deck to the Drago. Now, uh, we can set up another Drago if we find the pieces. Uh, we are down to two more Quick Ball, so we can pull a Quick Ball out of the deck. We have exactly 12 cards left in our deck. A lot of our attackers are still floating in the deck, which is a little bit unfortunate. But we can salvage the situation, I feel like. Um, this does beg a case for more recovery cards uh, in, in this deck, but I feel like I feel like we just missequenced on the um, on the Legacy Star, and that's kind of what's what's causing us some problems right now. Uh, but also, our opponents uh, got two V guards, which is interesting in their deck, um, and they're pretty much out of powerfuls. I feel like so they have kind of doomed their one shot option. So we can maybe Rolling Iron the following turn, like we could Rolling Iron this guy active, and that can prevent us from getting one shot by this Lugia. And if we can put the Giratina into the discard in one of the next two turns, then we can still win the game. Raikou. Oh, no. That's not something I anticipated right away. We're going to see the Tempest Dive come through. Drago hits the discard. Our opponent does get two prizes. We have a Conundrum with this Raikou presenting itself. We get a draw. That's not what I'm looking for. Let's see the Mysterious Tail. Choice Belt and Switch. I guess we'll grab the choice belts. We will retreat. I don't want to attach any of these energies because I think I need all of them. Um, and I think it's got to be a rolling, a rolling thunder angle. Rolling iron, sorry. 20, and then this should do fine. Yeah. And this way, we do get to stay alive for one more turn, I believe, unless they produce a second Evatol out of thin air. But also, they shouldn't have the energy for an Evatol. Uh, there's the Gardenia set of our prizes. Okay. And and the Crobats. So winnable. We just don't have any discard cards in our hand. 
what energies is our opponent down? Three powerful of Igor double turbo. So all of their Auroras are available to them. They do have no Yvatol. They have... Okay, so we're going to be getting swung at for a lot of damage. Tempest Dive, 220, 250, 270, 190. Okay. Which is a hefty sum, if I do say so myself. And we don't have a one-shot option currently available to us. The most we can swing for is 230. If we can top tick a quick ball, however, this is a great turn to quick ball as well as just swing, like full out, just swing and take two prizes. I would be ecstatic if we can find a quick ball off the top. We do have two. We have no more ultra balls. So quick ball is the best bet for us. We will draw a card and we can dig six deep as well. Okay. This is where it gets really scary. I mean, if our opponent can go into the Zard this turn, maybe it's good for them. They're probably looking at an angle to hit here. And then go into 120, 120. Or 120, 120. This angle is not winning for our opponent. I will say that. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. Now they have a winning angle. I think I have the Gardenias, unfortunately. We did not find an attack like we were looking for, or a quick ball. This is really unfortunate. We should have been able to find a quick ball somewhere in this sequence of cards, I feel like. Like, somewhere along this path, we should have found a quick ball, I feel like. So what's our attack options? I mean, rolling iron doesn't feel great, but we kind of have to go for it, I think. What's our endgame win con here? I guess I could have accelerated here to Leaf Blade next turn. And Zard just one-shots me. Oh yeah, I guess I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out next turn. If we got the one shot, this would have been a much, much different game, I think. Is there any merit to sniping? No. That was just rolling iron. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Oh um, man. I thought we had him. I thought this game was completely won. I thought we had the, the tools to do so. But it looks like we were a little bit short. And we see all of our items next turn with Mew. The problem is that it doesn't change the equation. Our opponent probably has a Serena in their hand. They have 13 cards in deck, one Serena showing. Serena or boss is probably sitting in their hand. So that's not, not ideal, not really what we're looking for. So we're definitely in trouble. Two, I don't have any basic attackers either, so. Serious tell. Oh, we prize two quick balls. That does make a lot of sense in, in hindsight. But um, that's not good. I think we just outright lose. Well, let's go out with a bang at the very least. Um, let's go out on our own terms. After some abhorrent prizing. Leafeon. Oh, that's cool. The grass. Get us the knockout, baby. Let's flip heads. And we can't even go out on our own terms. Unlucky, chat. It's okay. The potential is there for Drago. I feel like it is so close to being good, but it's just missing that little bit of extra oomph. I don't know what it is just yet, but we're going to keep trying it. So thank you guys for watching this video. As we're about to get our cheeks clapped right here by this Radiant Zard. And I will see you guys... For another video for gameplay coming up here soon so thank you guys for watching as always and i appreciate the like the subscribe and a comment if you would do so to make up for this terrible game for me adios everyone